Now, as I said that this input is basically for the frequency measurement. So you can give any signal whose frequency you want to measure. You can give that signal externally here and switch it on. The moment you will switch it on, this function generator will go into the frequency counter mode and this display will show you some different uh, the parameters related to the frequency counter. Say for example, right now I have set 1 kilowatts function generator frequency and giving this input over here from this function generator. Switch, let us switch on this frequency counter. You can see that this is the display. So this frequency is 999.980. Let us keep on changing. So it is 1 kilohertz signal. The time period for this is 1 millisecond. So you are, you are getting this information here 1 millisecond. <coughs> Duty cycle of the signal is 49.90. It's almost 50 percent. This is the positive pulse, positive cycle width. This is the negative cycle width. So this is what you are getting the signal from here. Now in the every frequency counter, there is a feature of gate. Basically, there is a gate. You can change the gate timing because we know that for every element, the frequency counter is the AND gate. On one input, you are connecting one second pulse, and you are allowing the signal to pass through that gate for one second, and you are measuring the clock and the output of that AND gate, and you are saying that this is the frequency of the signal. But you can change the gate timing. So right now, it is it, it is keep on changing every one second. Probably the gate time is set for. 1 millisecond or 1 second. So let's go back. The gate time is 1 millisecond. So you can change the gate time. I can see that there are different gate time options. There are different gate time options. One milli, different gate time options. 1 millisecond, 10 millisecond, 100 millisecond, 1 second, 10 second, and 10 second. So let's go back. Say 1 second. I set to the 1 second. You slide this window. You can see that now every after 1 second the display will refresh so now it is showing 1.00 kilowatts now you will see that it is 1.00 kilowatts so this is how you can change the gate time from here then you are you are basically measuring parameter is the frequency the statistics if you want now status this sensitivity you can change the sensitivity of this input then you can put a trigger level. Right now, I have set it to 0 volt. So, for example, if any noise is coming, that may be also triggering this count. So, if you are measuring the signal which is having a noise, and if you wish that that noise should not trigger your counter for measurement, you can change. For example, I set, say, example 1 volt. See, this is 1 volt. So, now, if the signal amplitude whose amplitude is more than volt, that will cause to trigger this frequency counter. So you can change it. You can see that the frequency is measured by 999.9999 kilohertz what the frequency is. So this is how you can change the triggering, you can change the decoupling like DC coupled, AC coupled, just like in oscilloscope what we have. High frequency rejection, right now it is off. If I want to reject the high frequency noise, if signal is carrying the high frequency noise as well. If I want to reject that, so you can just high frequency noise rejection and you can switch it on and then you can see that it is measuring the frequency. So this is how it is measuring the, right now I am giving the signal from here but you can also give the signal from outside and this will measure the frequency. You will get a time period, you can measure a duty cycle, you will get a, a positive weight, you can get a negative weight. So this is how you are getting not only the function generator but you are getting a wonderful built-in frequency counter as well. So this is how this product is having a frequency counter and how you can change different parameters.